I'm the worst. But we already knew that. I. <laughs> she was so just. <laughs> I, I don't- I wouldn't know what to do. Somebody call for a teacher! Please report it to the peacekeepers! Oh, oh crap, the peacekeepers? Our theater call rehearsal performance is hereby cancelled. I repeat. Don't bring them there. Please. Oh, oh, oh Desuhiko, you're a teacher! Go, go! What's going on? Oh, <laughs> no matter what, Shinigami wins in the end. I hate it here. I hate it. What happened? Is this part of the show? No, I don't think so. I think this is real. That's a real corpse on the stage? You sound scared. I, I thought a detective would see them all the time. Tetsuhiko, this is where master detectives come in. We have to do something. Hey, Yuma's, on, Yuma's in charge. All right, let's go. Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> I can't deal with corpses. No, Tetsuhiko, I'm trying so hard to like you. Oh, God. Huh? So you just play music and be obnoxious? Have you ever solved a crime? Dead people's faces terrify me. I can't handle looking at them. Okay, I'll... Well, maybe you can handle something else. I'll compromise. And the blood. What's with the blood? It's all way too horrifying. I can't deal with gory stuff. Yeah, I relate to that. You're joking, right? Uh, 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 You're a master detective. Yeah, but maybe, you know, he's also kind of new to the agency. But I'm not assigned to murders. I mainly handle undercover investigations and stuff like that. That totally makes sense. Hey, my bad for assuming. So, yeah, I'll leave this to you. <laughs> I grant you the right to investigate the crime scene, rookie. Oh, I'm honored. Thank you. What? <laughs> I, I, I'll use my uh, disguise ability and try to lead the panicking students out of here. Oh, yeah, good call. Leave the rest of you. Uh, what's up with that face, though? <laughs> he, hey, he, he thought of something at least to get out of this. Stay calm. Let's all move into the hall in an orderly manner. Are they, are they moving? Oh God. Yuma, <laughs> what do I do? This is awful. Stay calm, Kurumi. That wasn't an act just now, right? That's not in the script. Hagen really coughed up blood. She's really dead! Oh my god, this poor girl saw a dead person right in front of her. And a classmate, too. A classmate she just got done. And she's a queen bee, and she's all... Oh my god, she's dead. That is gonna mess her up for life. Who could have thought oh. a real murder would happen during a play? <laughs> I, I mean, I, I, you know, I... First Aiko, and now Cotton? Is the school cursed? Yuma, it's a murder case. Yeah, sure is. But if the peacekeepers come, they'll just cover it up again. Yeah, and we could also get in trouble with the peacekeeper. Ooh, I feel like that's what's going to happen. Please, I need your help. Please investigate this case, Yuma. Hey, I'll, I'll, I'll go fast. All right, let's you get it. You want me to do it? Yeah, let's get it, Yuma. Come on, you got experience, bro. How many How many dead bodies? You, you're on a roll, King, all right? Uh, or Queen. Got it. All right, whatever. You're just doing what she says again? <laughs> wow. If you want to get on the black chest and Ugo's good side that badly. You want the same thing! Hey, you also want to peek at the crime scene for your own reasons. Uh, busted. Anyway, it'll be trouble when the peacekeepers arrive. Let's search the crime scene before they get here. I will commend the writers. A lot, because honestly, I, I I don't always mention it during commentary because there's a lot going on and I'm trying to keep the videos fast paced. But there are a lot of moments in this game where I'm like, dang, this is truly clever writing, how they set this all up. It's an affluent school. They're at each other's throats and putting stuff down. Well, she drank it. Let's not in that sentence, all but right. it's a it's a surprisingly well thought out game. But yeah, let's hop on the case. Yuma's in his element. It is a darn shame she died, though. I'm not sure if it will help. Hot take. Can I tell you what I saw? Yeah, for sure. Yes, please. During the performance, I was doing odd jobs in the wings. Aside from the theater club members, there wasn't anyone wandering about like an outsider. I mean, other than when Desuhiko jumped in right at the beginning of the play. Yeah, excluding him. Oh, yeah. Sorry about that. He kind of does that sometimes. I, I don't know why, but... Well, that's part of the investigation, right? 
You can't see everyone from the stage after all. Right, so Kurumi's kind of our inside girl. Okay. I mean, in more ways than one, she, she knew the alibi of, well, just about everyone. Isn't that why he went up there? So he could memorize all the faces that were there? Totally. Right. <laughs> I think he just wanted attention. But setting that aside... He may have still saw something. Because wasn't there that one girl that... Like, she went tinkle or something and it, like, was... I don't know why I said it like that, but, you know, she, she exited the area and came back. That is mildly suspicious. Since she didn't see any outsiders, the only persons of interest are those within the theater club. Is it another locked room case? No, it can't be, because anyone could have put real poison inside that flask. I'll keep that in mind while taking a look around. Right. I've done a few investigations already. I should be able to handle this now. <laughs> look at him, he's all pumped up. Let's do it! Yo, yeah. you were hopelessly reliant on yours truly until now. I see it's not your brain making the decisions anymore. Do you want to be a team or not? My god. <laughs> so fr- The eyes are wide open from agony. The body is completely motionless. I can immediately tell she's dead. Though she displayed many expressions while acting, her face is frozen in death in the end. Always so poetic, Yuma, even when it's really not appropriate. This isn't an act. She was struck by an abrupt and unscripted death. Um, was it poison? I... Unless this is some 4D level misdirection, I think it has to be. That's most likely the case. There are no external injuries, and given the circumstances, she must have ingested poison. This will be tough to solve if that's the case. I know nothing about poison. And I don't think any other master detectives we know would. Well, that's not true, but they're not experts on it. What? A detective who doesn't know his poisons? <laughs> don't tell me you're a poison virgin! Wha what? <laughs> All right, Shinigami. Well, Too far. You perverted little detective. Get on your knees and apologize, and maybe I'll teach you a thing or two. I'm actually already on my knees, so could you just tell me, please? How about something like? She's still I'm going. Sorry. She's still going. You know my place. I can't live without you, Shinigami. <laughs> you you have some odd standards. If she was murdered with poison while on stage, the poison must have been prepared somewhere else. I mean, where would, where would a high school girl get... Because we assume it's, you know, it's an all-girls school. Where would they get poison? That's ridiculous. If only we knew the backgrounds of the... You know, the fathers of the other... Two suspects? No, it could potentially be three. The other girl in the play. We can't rule her out. I need to look for that while checking out anywhere else that seems suspicious. Because, yeah, like, you know, it, it, her acting... Hey, don't ignore me! Jerk. Let's just uh, let's just try our best to ignore for the rest of the chapter. I'm role playing. Yep, it's a corpse. Okay, moving on. But like truly, right? Let's let's think about it. Do we? Yes, we get profiles for everybody. So, Waruna. It's so weird to say. She did a pretty good job faking it, right? That like, oh uh, yeah, you're not supposed to. But like, that's her whole thing, right? Is being an actress. She could definitely pull that off, especially if she had time to practice. Just throwing that out there. That's her ever. Oh, they all have likes and dislikes too. Tr she likes trendy makeup and dislikes sympathy. Is this others giving her sympathy or towards others? And her talent is makeup. Cool, cool. It's not like I really care. I'm, do we want to see Karen? She's. Uh, I'll do it anyways. She likes being in the spotlight and dislikes storms. Yes, yeah, she lives here. Sucks. Her talent is dieting. I then and Yoshiko. She was the girl with the small bladder. She likes teddy bears and dislikes syringes, and she likes sewing. Okay, and romance novels and dislikes electronic gadgets. That's so weird. <laughs> it's just a fit, big girl. What's your deal? All right. Wait, what is Wendy like? She likes cameras. Dislikes information manipulation. <laughs> what? I mean, doesn't everyone, but 
And her talent is tailing suspects. Interesting. Student, hungry for knowledge. She seeks out anything she wants to know with unwavering tenacity. Thanks to her cheerful meaner and excellent communication skills. She's quick to get along with people she meets. At least our characters this time around get names. Like, that was... That was a bummer last time. Although I do think we made some pretty good replacement names, but yeah, there's not a lot here. It's actually a surprisingly barren stage. I mean, that makes sense, right? Well, no, there, there could be something upwards. Okay, so is there any markings on this glass? That's what I was thinking last night. There are two glasses on the table. The props used for the Duel of Poison's Cups. I think this glass was supposed to be stored upside down on the shelf in the back. Cotton was the victim, but she's also the one who set it on the table. Maybe poison was already applied to the glass beforehand. No, dude, maybe it's the vial. Someone had to supply her with that prop. Hey, do you know who prepared these glasses? Oh, it's the girls on prop duty. The freshmen are handling them this time. Okay. Do you know where this glass was before it was placed on stage? Props are kept in the theater club storage. This glass should have been in there too. But why are they so fixated on the glass and not the the flask? Am I am I underthinking this? The theater club storage. In that case, any club member would have access. Right. There's so many people to pin the blame on. It's almost. I mean, it's like just a freshman class. But come on, that's a ton. Um, was real poison applied to the glass? I just thought it could be possible. But there's the risk of being caught by applying the poison after it was moved to the set. Also, someone else could get sick from, like, touching the glass and then touching their mouth? Ah, you'd still have to ingest the poison. So that wouldn't do it, but it still could be dangerous. If poison was applied, it would have been before being brought to the set. <laughs> she says, she goes, yeah, Johnny, the poison's real dangerous. That's kind of the point. But you know what I mean. They're scheme could have been spoiled early but on days like this when there's an open rehearsal props are brought out of storage right after school the glass should have stayed on that shelf the whole time after school which means it'd be even harder to apply poison before then yes at the very least the props in the set were fully prepared at least one hour before the performance okay one hour got it and, okay, we can't click on the vial. This vial is supposed to have poison in it, according to the script. But it's empty now. It's dry and shows no signs of ever being wet. Wait, what? What? To be sure, the poison in this vial wasn't real. It was <laughs> just another prop, right? I'm just trying to be super duper sure. I don't know how serious you take these things. Uh... Absolutely. It was always empty. So I was wrong. <laughs> First time that's ever happened. The contents spill easily because of the loose lid, so we don't even keep colored water in it. I see. Crud, then it was the. Was it the glass? Cotton just pretended to pour poison from the vial into the glass on stage. Then it's hard okay. to imagine there being any poison inside it. So maybe. Yeah, I guess the glass was marked? Because it couldn't be the wine, right? I don't. Oh, I don't remember. Did Waruna actually drink from this bottle or not there's a wine bottle on the table and it's very possible dude it's totally possible they could avoid both get poisoned but Waruna just didn't drink it i'm so i don't have short-term memory loss but it's just like bro it just all happened so fast Karin poured the liquid from this bottle and started to suffer after drinking it so it can't be the wine itself then that means there's a chance the poison was mixed into this bottle this isn't wine in here, right? Of course not. It's just grape juice. I poured out the bottle and replaced what was inside. Huh? You, Kurumi? What's wrong with that? After class, I was asked to help out before I went to get you. I'm still a theater club member, after all. Right, she has responsibilities. Why was Yuma surprised about that? Were both the wine and grape juice sealed before you swapped them out? Because he thinks she might be a suspect? That doesn't make any sense. Yes. I received the unopened wine bottle from a club member. I uncorked the bottle and poured the wine down the sink. It's a waste, but we can't drink it anyway. Yeah. After that, I went to the cafeteria and bought a can of grape juice. Of course, this was also unopened. I poured the juice into the bottle, then put the cork back. I passed the bottle to a club member, and my job was done. 
Yeah, so we have first account testimony that up until this bottle was passed to that freshman, the contents of it could not have been poisoned. Uh, it has to be the glasses then. That bottle was then placed with the glasses on the shelf before the performance. But there's such a margin for error of that. If you only put a poison on once, I guess you did have to sprinkle the whole poison around the diameter of the glass. And I guess it doesn't really matter who gets killed in this situation. If we rule out Waruna, dude, this case is nice. Oh, I'm having a lot of fun, but it's terrible. With so many people around. Poison couldn't be added to the bottle after it was placed on stage. If poison was mixed in, it'd be before it was brought on stage. Only well, we had a forensic expert to... Well, we don't need a forensic expert. We know, or at least we can assume, it's the glass. A, a see-through poison was applied there. Okay. Is there anything else we need here? No, I think we got it. Later. Hmm. And we... There's nothing really to examine with cutting. Is there a way to get back here? Oh, yeah, there totally is. <gasps> Whoa. Whoa, this is so detailed. Oh, man. I always wanted to be in drama class as a kid. This is like, wow. <laughs> my place is among the gentry, so these don't suit my palate. Yeah, yeah, sure. Rich girl. What does that even mean? I, I mean, I assume there's some money to be made in the funeral business. Not but... only is Aiko gone... But now caught in too. Yeah, it's a heck of a day. Could this also be a fight for the lead role? I mean, at this point, it pretty much confirms it. If so, those most suspicious are Kaden's rivals. Yoshiko, Waruna, and Kurane. Is the culprit one of those three? Hmm. I need to find out if there was anything suspicious about them during the performance. We know that one Kurane girl. Kurane was in the wings the whole time, so perhaps she knows something about the others. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Can we ask her? Okay. Yoshiko. Dude, look at those eyes. She got fidget spinner eyes. You know she up to no good. <laughs> so does she, though. Actually, huh. She's the one with semi-normal ones. <laughs> Do you think she did it? I mean... We can never rule out the crazy. She could have had a twin sister. We don't know. Before the performance, did you notice anything off about Cotton? Well, I think she was more on edge than usual. She yelled at underclassmen who were late in preparing for the show. She also paced around restlessly. That's not just today. She's been that way since Echo's death. Really? I mean, it's a classmate. I mean, it's understandable, but... Is that, is that normal or not? It's, I'm not sure. Maybe the whole battle for the lead role had stressed her out. But since she was murdered after Aiko, she should be considered another victim, right? Yeah, for sure. But I was just wondering, you know, maybe she knew something? If she knew someone was out to get her, then it's not strange for her to be mentally unstable. Right. Yeah, no. I mean, I don't think she had anything to do with this. Other than being kind of... A jerk to some underclassmen. So, yeah. She's she was tense more than usual. Okay. Now let's just do this. She is the mystery girl here. If I had a guess, no. It'd be too obvious. My current guess is Waruna. They're gonna pull that. But how could you make sure you got the right glass? That's nuts. I couldn't figure that Kurene? out. Did she seem strange before the incident occurred? Hmm... I haven't seen Kurene. She was working up above the whole time. Above? Oh, she was managing the lights then? There's a catwalk above to adjust the lights. And that's where Kurene was supposed to be. So I didn't see her in the wings. There's another girl handling the lights. So it would be helpful to speak to her. Okay. Let's do that then. <laughs> Look her up there. <laughs> Looks like so much fun, except that someone got killed! But, you know, let's do Before Yoshiko. Before the incident occurred, do you know where Yoshiko was and what she was doing? I didn't see Yoshiko in the wings. She may have been watching from the audience. Oh, right. Speaking of which, during the performance, I noticed Yoshiko walking down the aisle. I thought she was coming back from the restroom. But I didn't see her take her seat. What if she wasn't part of the audience? Where could she have been? 
Maybe getting her stockpile of poison and mixing it in the women's restroom inside of a toilet. And then she flushes the toilet and there goes all the evidence. Is that how you make poison? I, I have no effing clue. It's probably for the best that I don't know, but Yuma noticed Yoshi go walk into the eye. That's almost too obvious. I feel like that's a red herring, but I could be wrong. And last but not least, the one with the sword. Kurumi, did you notice anything suspicious about Warana while you were watching from the wings? Hmm. As far as I can tell, Warana was just her usual self. Dang, not even a little jumpy? She was listening to music right up to the start of the play. I think that's how she concentrates. Did she go near the glasses or bottle before the performance? I wasn't watching her the entire time, but if she did go near the set, I think I would have noticed. Hmm, I see. So she stayed perfectly still. Maybe she was so calm. Warana was the closest to the victim. That's ample opportunity to commit the crime. But still, how did she add the poison? It couldn't have been during the performance, right? It could have been. We just aren't thinking about it from their perspective yet. Wait, now that I think about it... Mm-hmm. Right after the lights went dark in that one scene, she went near the shelf to pick up a plate. Her back was toward the audience, so I couldn't see her hands. But she only had two or three seconds max. Depending on how quick she was. She... Could have been a lot of things. Could she have poured hidden poison in the glass in that time? But then she risks poisoning herself, right? Did she have any other opportunities after? The next time she touched the glasses was during the shuffling scene. But it was Cotton who moved the glasses and bottle. She also prepared the poison vial. And plus, after shuffling, Cotton was the one who chose the first glass. Given the situation, it'd be difficult for Warna to poison Cotton specifically. I just don't know anymore. I mean, we gotta talk to the choir girl, we gotta talk to Yoshiko, like, it, it'll, it'll come to us. The ones fighting for the lead role are Yoshiko, Waruna, and Kurane. None of them seem particularly suspicious so far. Hey, how long are you gonna keep this up? I'm so over playing 20 questions with this ugly chick. Dude, chill. That reminds me, I, the lights went dark during me. the performance, <laughs> right? The entire hall was blacked out. Wouldn't it be possible for someone to sneak up on stage and place the poison then? And hide in the audience? I mean, maybe. Oh, I hadn't thought of that, but I don't think it's possible. Why not? The blackout lasted for only five seconds. We measure it each time to ensure there are no mistakes. Really? You're that precise? That's crazy. So someone would have to move through the dark, get on stage, apply the poison, and get away, all in five seconds. And not bump into the girls, or risk their entire plan being screwed up. Yeah, nobody can move that fast. Unless they could stop time? <gasps> that sounds Fubuki. impossible to me. Okay. If they were in a hurry, their footsteps would have been heard by everyone too. From the audience, it may be impossible, but what about from the wings? No, there were multiple club members, including me, in the wings at all times. And not to mention, there is Kurene, I think is her name, on light duty. They would have an aerial view, for the most part, be able to just see up there, right? While the lights are out, we are always on standby to support the actors. If someone went on stage, the other members and I would have noticed. So there's no chance of that. It had to be remote. Yes, it's not possible then. Something happened remotely, or it was while we're in a sleight of hand. Those are my. God, dude, I'm like, I'm like in the zone. Whoa. <laughs> Even an amateur has more logic than you. Yeah, I guess yeah. you're useless without a certain someone. I, you, I, I, it's just not even worth it. It's, but it's, she's so irritating. Like I can't. I, I literally cannot. Dude. Anyway. Oh, what the? <laughs> I thought I was in a cutscene still. All right, I'm gonna head out. Hmm. I want. Okay, you can't angle up the camera that much. Cause Waruna, I'm not totally convinced. Could have done it with a sleight of hand because there's a large. Whoa. What's this? There's a script on the floor. That's a script of the play. Someone must have dropped it in all the chaos. It's not that surprising. The script describes the duel of poisoned cup scene. 
The character Natasha, played by Cotton, is supposed to take the wine and glasses from the shelf. After that, the glasses are shuffled on stage. According to the script... Anatoly shuffles glasses. Note, make sure the audience cannot see the glasses. Anatoly, finished. Natasha, it's my turn then. Natasha also shuffles in a similar way. I think they both did that. As far as I could tell. I am ready, Natasha. Anatoly and Natasha stand on opposite sides of the table, facing one After another. After that, Cotton takes the first glass, and they both drink at the same time. Unfortunately, Cotton's glass turned out to actually be poisoned. Kurumi, I was wondering about this script. It says, make sure the audience cannot see the glasses. Why is that? It's to make the result feel unpredictable to the audience. If the glasses are visible, no matter how fast they are shuffled, the audience can see which one has the poison. Uh, yeah, that makes sense. The script doesn't say anything about how many times to shuffle the glasses, or which one will have the poison in it. Exactly. There's no poison to begin with, so it doesn't matter which one's picked. But for the ca the sake of a murder mystery, right? It would, because the poisoner potentially doesn't want to get it wrong. So, oh, this is awesome. They just straight up say what everyone does. That's beautiful. But what my, my point is, oh, oh, my point is totally misproven. Because cut in picks up the glass first. It can't be Waruna. There's no chance. Because if she picks up the glass, she's not going to interrupt the scene and be like, actually, that one's mine. This one is your glass. That would be, that'd be mad goofy. And then she dies. She look. <laughs> I think Warren is innocent now. Dang. I didn't know. Thanks for spelling it out for me, Mr. Script. You just pick any glass and act out your death after drinking. In the script, Hodden was to die. But I didn't think she'd actually die. So... Dang, okay. I see. Since the instructions aren't precise, both actresses don't know the results from shuffling either. Yeah, as far as they know, we are led to believe they are identical glasses. And it looks like they believe that too. It is eerie though that Karn... <laughs> Karan was the one to die in the script and also in real life. Like, that's... I wonder if that's important. Anyway, I'm just... <laughs> I'm geeking out. Oh, just, I don't know. I guess it's the school setting. And a character that looks like this might remind me of somebody. She's hit me with a anything on this side. wave of nostalgia, I suppose. But uh, can we get all the way up there? Man, this is so, man, these rich kids, god dang, I'm jealous, bro. My high school's literally a she prison. That the catwalk for adjusting the lights is up uh, above. It was. I'm not going to elaborate, but. Are those the stairs to reach them? Would you like to go check up there? Yeah, I would. The spotlights for the stage are set over there. It's a lot narrower than I thought. It's pretty high up. Yeah. It'd be hard on anyone with a fear of heights. <laughs> fear of heights, you say? <laughs> huh. This is totally evidence that could be used in the court of law. <laughs> so you can move the lights as needed for the play. Oh man, it's right there. I didn't know it was like this angle. The table is directly below. What you mean? You could drop it in from here. Crying. No. You can't see the glasses getting shuffled from the audience seats, but they could have been visible from up here. I could find out for sure if I could talk to someone that was up here. Mm, well, they tell us the whole truth, though. Dog, it ain't looking good for her. And I, we know nobody came up these catwalks because oh these types of stairs are effing loud. All right, I know I can't, I can't prove that because the game doesn't actually let you walk up them. But in actuality, yeah, I mean, you would hear that a mile away. Maybe that's all the investigating I can do. We just started. <laughs> oh. Like, dude, it breaks my heart. It doesn't. These stages, they serve a purpose. But they're so detailed. Like, they went, they make these look so believable. And I know what you're thinking, Johnny Awesome. GTA 5 is a million times more immersive. But you gotta remember, 
We ain't Rockstar, baby. We got some tune soft money. It's a, it's a, you know. All right, enough simping. So let's get out. I'm just saying, it's impressive. I, I like the well, graphics. I think I've checked all that I can for now. I have a good idea of how things work around here. It seems certain Cotton died from drinking poison, but I couldn't find any clues that point to how it was done. Yeah, I've just developed a handful of crazy, wacky scenarios that could have been how the crime was committed. One of which is Melanie has taken the form of a high school girl and enacted another murder. Oh, stuck <sighs> already, Mr. Pervert Detective. No, I'm just getting started. I got this. If you need my adorable angel's whisper to help, <laughs> maybe you should get on your knees and beg. I guess you could be an angel of death, but... What angel? You're a death god. <sighs> I shouldn't even pay attention to her. But she's right. I'm stuck. What should I do? Are there any other leads? We can't wait till another kill happens to narrow it down even further. Yuma, if you're done with the crime scene investigation, are you conducting the questioning next? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what I was going to do next. Th thank you, Watson. Uh, questioning? Aren't you going to talk to Yoshiko, Marina, Kurene, and the others? Why would I do that, Karumi? Oh, wait, I'm a detective! Oh, oh <laughs> right. Let's go and talk to them. I'm sorry. I'm just... <laughs> She's such a loud mouth. I'm not the only one. But how do we talk to them? I doubt they'll be too willing to share anything with me. And they can also just lie. Uh, maybe we can get another disguise? Look like a peacekeeper? I joined the club only recently, so they don't trust me. And you're a complete outsider, Yuma. Even though you're disguised as a cute girl right now. <laughs> I mean, you never know. They might be wowed by your charm. I mean, I know I am, but... That's it! A disguise! Maybe this could work if we use Desuhiko's disguise. He could disguise as any of the girls and start questioning them. Ah, uh, that is true. But will Desuhiko behave during the questioning? That is what I fear. Well, he... No. Already? Uh, what? The peacekeepers? Why is she got a lightsaber? Aww. Eh, if I was Peacekeeper, I'd have one too. She was the one with that Yomi die. The, holy frick, I she's am the huge. Peacekeeper's vice director. Not, not that there's anything wrong with it. Right hand, showered with love by director Yomi himself. What the frick? Martina cool. Electra. Nobody asked. Oh. <laughs> Goodness me. You've surely done something reckless this time around. What? You're pinning this on me. Hu Oops. Hold Looks up. Like you found out you snuck into a girl's school. What? I think this deserves the death penalty, don't you? There's no way she can see through my disguise. He's literally perfect. Um, there's a reason why I'm dressed this way. No, she, she succeeded? What are you doing? Hurry up and make the arrest. Wait, I can explain. There's no way we go. Huh? What? You're joking. You have no right to remain silent. You have no right to talk to a lawyer either. That's so evil. You only possess two rights. Confess the truth and beg Amaterasu Corporation for mercy. Take her away. No, this is why we need to go to the labyrinth. Hey, Bro. What's going on? You know Yuma's going to do it. Um, please wait. I offer a rebuttal. I am a lawyer girl. Please listen to me. I. I'm Are not you an actor. sure you want to try and stop Amaterasu Peacekeeper Vice Director Martina? Who is that? I oh my god, her her Glock's got a skin. Okay, no, we need to we need to focus up. She's serious. Yeah, tell me, why are you taking Kurumi to arrest her? Naturally, on the suspicion of murdering Karen. Bro, come on. Huh? What? Not even, not even she is that evil. I don't believe it. Like, come, come on. We've reached this conclusion following an interrogation with a person of interest. According to them, you were responsible for handling the contents of the wine bottle prior to the start of play. That technically is true. Oh, that's so dumb, though. It's clear you took the opportunity to pour poison inside it. Okay, they saved it. Martina, she's not completely insane, but this situation sucks. It was only grape juice. I didn't add any poison. Besides, where would she even get poison from? 
Ms. Martina, this was discovered in the chemistry lab. What? <laughs> oh, it appears my deduction was correct. We're so proud of you. Poison was right under our noses. Chemistry class. What is that, ricin? Come on. Hmm. It seems to have been a particularly potent one. The label warns that even a small amount ingested can result in death. The bottle is unsealed and some of the liquid is missing. There's no mistake. Dude. Yeah, I mean, just look at her smug little stupid smile. <laughs> this child will die in prison. <laughs> You're a monster. I'm... But there's no convincing her. She's... We have to give them undeniable evidence that Kurumi is obviously not guilty. And that is going to be very hard without supernatural powers. Let's go to the labyrinth, please. You secretly stole this from the chemistry lab and used it for murder, didn't you? I don't know anything about it. That bottle is way too big to be stolen without anyone noticing. What a worthless comment. What? One could simply unseal it in the chemistry lab and put the substance in a smaller container to take wherever desired. All right, did you find the smaller container? You're the one making this mystery more mysterious. Hmm. Which could then be directly poured into the wine bottle. No, she can't be reasoned with. Unless someone just happens to drop dead right now. But, uh. If you're going to pick a fight, you better have sound logic backing you up. This is the last time I'll do this for you. Hmm. There's a warning on the bottle. This chemical will react to oxygen in open air, rendering it harmless 30 minutes after the bottle is unsealed. Okay, spit some facts! Spit some facts! Let's go! Huh? After 30 minutes, it becomes harmless? Wait, could that have been used by Waruna? Would she know about it? No. Because she... Karen chose the glass first. If you think that's important, go for broke and try pointing it out. Okay, I mean, I doubt she'll listen to a kid, but... How do I do that? Okay, thank God. Woo. Oh, jeez, I'm kind of, kind of in a rock and a hard place right now. This is uh, okay. Gigantic lady. Let's. That's me. But um, she's I'm taller than me. What was written on the bottle's warning label. Warning label. This chemical will react to oxygen in open air, rendering it harmless 30 minutes after the bottle is unsealed. And the wine, you know, was sitting in the glasses totally oxidized so it has been 30 minutes since the murder occurred if this chemical was unsealed at the time of the crime it will have already lost its potency let us check what <laughs> oh it shakes crazy nothing it seems likely that this poison was used as the murder weapon oh no shinigami what were you thinking i mean that's still good to know but which means the crime was possible only for someone at the school with access to the chemistry lab. However, this fact does not contradict her being the killer. Wait, no! I am well aware that many of Etheria Academy students are children of those affiliated with Amaterasu Corporation. However, that cannot be used as an excuse to bend the truth. Criminals must be punished as criminals. <laughs> For that is justice. Now be gone. Any additional interference, and you'll be arrested as well. Dang, you really love that pursuit of justice. I will see justice through... As long as it doesn't take me too long. I'm, I'm a bit lethargic today. Ugh. Take her away. And dispose of the corpse on stage before it rots. Corpses spoil so quickly due to the rain and humidity in this town. Why? There must be a mistake. It wasn't me. What was up with that last line? That was so weird. That's right, she's not the killer. Please, listen to me. I warned you not to interfere any further. She swapped out the contents of the bottle before the play began. And the incident occurred more than 30 minutes into the play. If the chemical use in the crime becomes harmless after 30 minutes, then it's impossible for her to be the culprit. I see. How logical. And beautiful. What? There is beauty in being logical with all things. Much like the golden ratio. <laughs> Stop it. Kodaka read JoJo and was like, This is amazing! I have to put this into my next game. 
Like, it's... I mean, you can play any game and there's a JoJo reference, but... Uh, lady, you, you're wild. I like gazing upon a flawless art piece. And more delicate it appears. You are... what? Oh my god, she's drooling. Girly, you... Just... Take her to an art museum and she'll love you forever. Oh, that's probably what the Dante Devil Smile did. Jesus. The more excited I become, oh! the moment I pulverize it. What the heck is it? That's just nasty. I don't. Uh -huh. she, I don't like her anymore. She's nasty. The logic is meaningless in the face of ultimate power. What the? F it is nothing but a glass ornament beneath an iron hammer. <laughs> uh, no. I'm so excited. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> the reason I'm laughing is just like, uh. I just imagine two dudes picking up the dead body of Karen and be like, oh god, Electra's doing it again. Oh, if I say anything, I'll lose my job. So let's just, uh, let's just get out of here, I guess. What's with her? She's doing the worm. Whoa. I guess all the peacekeeper higher ups are perverts without exception. No, my soft and fragile looking student, your play acting as a detective is over. Okay, as long as I'm not getting arrested too. Play acting? Yeah, acting. I'm not a detective. If you intend to continue interfering with our justice, then you will be pulverized. <laughs> This sucks. Hmm? Even if that was released. Yuma? Oh! I've heard that name. No, 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 no! Stop! No, never mind. I don't know a little girl like you. Thank Christ. Play acting as a detective. Oh no, Yuma, now's not the time to have a, uh, an imposter complex. She's right. What am I doing? I've mistaken detectives for superheroes. Justice is a matter of opinion. With enough conviction, anything can be considered justice. I mean, that is true. That is just the fact of our real world. Bruh, I feel him on that. It's only an assumption. Completely worthless and completely powerless. But still, facts are facts, man. And we have we have the tools to solve this. I, I believe in you, Yuma. You've done it before. You can do it again. Just need a little boost, you know? Even Goku does. Hey, uh, I told you all students must wait on the lower level. Uh, so, sorry, I'm just a little girl. I don't know what I'm doing. Stop wandering around and go join the others. <sighs> Dog. He must feel so useless right now. Kurumi was taken away. I know, right? You couldn't protect the bay. And the other bay is being a B word. And the B word is not bay. What should I do? Do I just walk away as if nothing happened? Okay. Strat 1. Find Dezuhiko. Still commence operation on interrogation. Just impersonate a peacekeeper. Can't be that tough. Right? No, like, I can't do that. Yes, yes. You believed in me. I'm believing you, Yuma. You got this. She said that detectives are heroes. I'm no hero, but I'm the only one who can save her right now. I have to do something. <laughs> <laughs> she got me. Come on, you know you want to help me. The truth is still hidden. To discover the truth behind this case, and to find out who the real killer is. I need Desuhiko's help. I need his disguise ability to get information from the club members. So locate the backpack. That is our next operation. We need to get to it ASAP. Gotcha. Gotcha. But changing. And they're all here too. Oh, that's going to suck. It's going to be hard to get back in there. Mm. I don't think we have to get back in there. Where are the other girls at? But what? What? When Martina said, dead bodies, they degrade so easily in this humidity. Uh, that was not a good impression. I'm not Desuhiko. And I thank, the, I thank God for that every day. But maybe there's a secondary reason why Amaterasu Corporation doesn't want any corpses decomposing in Kanai Ward. Just a thought. Oh, well, you're that cutie who was with Kurumi. Girls, do girls say this to each other? What the? Frick? What are you doing here? 
If you don't go underground, they'll be mad at you. I, I am not a mole. What are you implying? It, yeah. Underground? I was called for questioning, but now I'm heading back. Let's go together. Wow. Who, who is this person? They sound so familiar. Oh, it's fine. I'll be right there, so go on ahead without me. You sure? Well, I was curious. Are all the other theater club members also underground? Like Yoshiko, Waruna, and Kurone too? Yeah, that's right. Yoshiko is feeling pretty shocked right now. She's in the rest area because she wants to be alone. That makes sense. Waruna is with her usual friend group in the makeup room. As for Kurone, maybe she's in the staff room with the other club members. Ah, got it. Thanks. Incredibly soft sounding girl like what who is this person are you going now? later tater i oh, that was very convenient <laughs> what the dump um teacher oh hi can we leave i need to go home i'm sorry my student is what? distressed so please excuse us for a moment did did she always have that like thing on her head what is that what oh, so are you, you distressed okay, this crap doesn't this crap, like, hurt you? Like, maintain this form? I'm fine, but Kurumi got caught by the peacekeepers. Are you serious? Oh, look at his face. What are you gonna do? I don't know, man. Help me out a little. Tetsuhiko, can you lend me a hand investigating this case? Don't tell me you want to keep investigating behind the peacekeepers' backs. Dude, I gotta. It's the only girl who's ever given me attention that has not died. I know it's reckless. The chief even told me not to, but... This is something I have to do. As a very reckless young man, I think you could also understand that. I mean, come on, you were dancing in the rain. You might have slipped and hit your noggin. Come on, bro. You gotta save the woman uh -oh. you love, right? I totally get it. <laughs> he totally sympathizes. <laughs> oh, gosh. No, it's not like I love... <laughs> my man. Usually, I'd help you out of sheer respect alone. But those bastards questioned me already, so uh, I can't move from this spot. So it's just up to me? Couldn't you make up an excuse to leave? Aren't you good at that? Yeah, I probably could, but I couldn't stay away for too long. Maybe I could slip out in disguise, but that'd put them on high alert and make the investigation tougher. So it is actually up to us. Bro. Then what should I do? We gotta just find those girls. Just go underground. I don't know what they mean by that. Is that like a, is that like a theater thing or like literally... We digging. I I don't. There's another solution. I'll disguise you, so you can keep on investigating. Oh, true. But we need to get to the backpack to do that. You want me to keep investigating in disguise? Yeah, I'll give you a voice changer too. I'll leave this to you. That settles everything. Let's go. But if this goes on for much longer, we'll both be in trouble. My disguises can't last forever. What? Really? Mostly because, dude, these heels, they hurt so bad. Like, come on. <laughs> it puts a huge strain on my body. I'm already starting to feel dizzy. Oh, poor guy. Okay, we'll make it snappy. Are, are you okay? Not really. But I gotta do this. It's all to save the love of your life. I mean, we just met. I mean, this saying I love her is a bit extreme, <laughs> but besides... I'm a master detective of the WDO. I've seen plenty of dangerous situations. I don't doubt it. So, who do you want to disguise as? Tell me. <laughs> oh man, you can't pick the dead one. God dang it. <laughs> Why did I assume that would be the case? But we'll start with Yoshiko. Makes sense. I want to disguise as Yoshiko. So, you want to be the star candidate of the theater club. She's known for being an honor student, right? I can do my alphabet. Come on, it's not that hard. So, you know all about her. Why do you think I wanted her on the school? Once I've seen the face, I never forget it. Just leave it to me. God, that sounds like a headache. Alright, can you... Uh... Pardon me. She said she's not feeling well. May I accompany her to the restroom? That's where you put it? I'm sorry. We'll be back right away. All right, that was perfect. I slipped a voice changer under your clothes, so be sure to use it. 
Oh, also, just a heads up, uh, touching your own boobs won't feel good or anything. What the dump? I'm not gonna touch that. <laughs> we'll see about that. Perverted detective. I mean, you know, if there's a fly on there, I might swat it or something. But other than I'm that, back now. Get going. All right, on it. Dang. Yoshiko was supposedly well respected by everyone. I hope I can extract information from different theater members. I honestly didn't think about it like that. I was like, okay, the first option. I'm just gonna pick that. But I better be careful and avoid the real Yoshiko. Right. Oh, is there gonna be a stealth mission? Because realistically, we'll only need to transform twice. I think Yoshiko was in the rest area, and Waruna's the makeup room. Kurune should be in the staff room. We don't necessarily know the layout, though. Ooh, this is a cool Other chapter. This is not why I like the chapter, but the way it's just... The way it's set up is actually sick. Also, wow. I know I'm weird and I'm probably the only one that can notice this. They raised the camera up to reflect the height change. That's bananas. But there are some people here, I... Well, this guy is like, looks like he cares. There, there, it happens all the time. In my high school, like, 30 people died. That, that, it was because of toxic gas. So that's why I wear the gas mask now. But, you know, hey, you should wear a gas mask. You don't feel, it feels pretty good. Okay, I'll, I'll try to cheer her up. Someone else has died at school. Why is this happening? <laughs> Could this be Ico's curse? <laughs> no, no, it's probably just the toxic gas. But, you know. I'm not sure it's a curse. But who could be responsible? Hmm. There's also this girl. Hi there. I think Warren is a bit suspicious. She has what it takes to kill someone. It has to be her. No. Does she have something against Warrena? Hmm. Maybe she's just the next victim. Oh, God. We better go fast. Oh, uh, this is what they meant by underground, bro. See, I live in Florida. We don't have basements, but I guess that's a thing in other parts of the world. Like Kanai Ward, wherever that's supposed to be. What is it? You need something from me? The peacekeepers just called for me. So, uh, can I wait until later? Hmm. I guess she doesn't want to talk. And I'm not that pushy. Tra la 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 la. Hope I won't run into my dupper ganger and ruin everything. Hey, this is a boy. Oh no, it's that lady. Hi. How much longer is this going to take? I'm so hungry about a fate. Literally me every recording session ever. <laughs> if I knew this is going to happen, I've had a meal bun before coming. <laughs> what? what? That's a terrible way to think. These classmates. Yoshiko, you're going around keeping everyone's spirits up. That's so like uh. you. Oh god, that face. I'm not I'm not saying she's ugly, it's just and they look different than the other characters. Maybe it's all just in my head. No, that's not quite right. You're always so kind. But be careful not to push yourself too hard. Otherwise you might be the next one to uh, I've said too much. Yeah, yeah, whatever. Careful now, Jimbo. You don't know what's waiting for you oh. around the corner. Oh, it's literally her. Holy <laughs> dump. Yoshiko's here. I should probably stay away from her while I have this disguise on. Jesus, I was not playing at all. Okay, let's just start. Let's just cut right to the chase. Mm, I want to talk to people. Talking to people is fun. I was watching the play just to kill time before the bus arrived. Can't believe I caught up in all this. Tough luck, huh? Guess so you must be thinking the same thing. It's rather inconvenient to have a ch Oh my god, this one's in the fuel position! This is terrible! I sound like that! I sound like the cricket from Bus and Boats, you horrible monster! After this, I don't know if I'll be able to go on stage again. I'm so scared. My god, it's a domino effect of evil! I hate it! So let's find the so culprit. Master. Hmm. And a creeper too. Well, uh. I disagree. Whoa, there's so much evidence in here. Wait, what are you awing about? What? What was that? You like boxes? You really hate unboxing videos. They they destroy them suckers, but cutting's locker. Probably don't want to open that up right wait. It's not cutting. So yeah, we can look at this. Let's give it a shot. It's a club locker. Cutting's name tag is on it. She really just had to paint it white. Ugh, what a diva. Uh, um. That As isn't your locker, Yoshiko. <laughs> Sawi. Huh? Oh, you're right. <laughs> Did you forget? We talked about this during the last meeting. What? 
What? She's going around looking at other people's lockers? Why would that be? Using someone else's makeup will lead to fights, so we aren't allowed to open other people's lockers. Oh, it's like that. The situation is bad enough already, so please don't do anything that could start more fights. Oh, it's just right. a fight over makeup. Sorry. I was I was overthinking. <laughs> My bad. Okay. <laughs> then in this case, we might as well, you know, dang her lock. Dang, she's actually cool though. Dude, look at this. Boss Punk? Punk Rock? Mu music F-E-S? Bro, she even likes person. Like, while we're not, I hope you didn't do it, girl. Like, go out there. Be a Buki Jr. Like, that'd be sick. And here's ours. Well, it's a club this form's ours. Kurini's name tag is on it. That's also not me. I'm an idiot. I can't remember names. I probably shouldn't. Yeah, 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 yeah. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Mm -hmm. How basic. Oh, so I realize they're painted, so we know which one is which, but... I should open it and search inside. You're opening a young girl's locker? What you're doing is totally psycho. Th it is literally not. What have they got in there? Books? Like, come on. It's for the investigation. Give me a break. There's nothing... There's... Wow, so pervy, right? Like... Yeah, whatever. I hope it doesn't turn into a <laughs> You might get a little addicted into going where you don't belong. Be careful around that shoe, mister. The script and makeup items are neatly placed. Huh? There's a glass in the back. It's the same kind that was used for the play. Bro. That seals the deal, then. How could it not? What is this doing here? Well, I mean, I have an idea. Dude. The same... Unless they all have a similar glass in their lockers. That's uh, not looking good for you, lady. Maybe she's just an alcoholic. Who knows? What else is there? That's not good to wish, but... Oh, there's a photo on the back of the door. It's a two-shot photo of Yoshiko and another girl wearing the school's uniform. I see. Who is she? I don't know. Only Kurumi could probably tell us that. Odd. Hmm. That's about it for the things of note in this locker. All right. Well, while we're here. Hey there. You managed it well. What? What did you just say? Huh? I beg your pardon? Huh? What do you mean? You're getting good at playing dumb, too. <laughs> Are you practicing for the peacekeepers? What? You really are the top actress after all. Are you talking about what just happened? You really want to say that so loudly. <laughs> Don't worry. I know how to keep a secret. Oh my god! She seems to believe Yoshiko is the culprit from the way she's talking. And she's chill with it? That's kind of... What if it's not just one killer again? What if... What if it is... I mean, that's not a confession, but dude, like, we might be thinking about this the wrong way. Is there something about Yoshiko that makes her think that? I mean, she wouldn't just say that out of the blue. Like, that's wild. Uh, just, okay, can we talk more? About the case. I know how to keep a secret. Don't worry. I know how to keep a secret. <laughs> I, I, I chose to add my own narration. I knew it. She's talking like she thinks Yoshiko's the culprit. Whoa. Why would, from the game writer's perspective, why would they add that? I gotta stop, I gotta stop, like, thinking outside the box. That's not fun. You gotta play by the hey, rules. do you have a moment? I want to talk about what happened. Um, Yoshiko? Uh, are you scared of me, too? Hmm? What's wrong? I'm sorry. It's nothing. Everyone's so jumpy around this little girl. What the dog? Excuse me. Whoa! I don't want to be naked. Is that it? She suddenly fell quiet. I guess I shouldn't question her anymore. She it... looked like she wanted to say something, but maybe it's something she can't say to Yoshiko. Yeah, we gotta swap to somebody else. Maybe she'll talk if I'm disguised as yeah. someone else. This is so cool. Man, they did such a good job with this chapter. I'm sorry, bro. I know I be butt kissing for some reason, but you gotta admit, this is rad. That's what it was, Pop. 
What is this? Clone High? Hey, it's Yoshiko. Uh, what's wrong? Oh, it's nothing. <laughs> what's going on? Is there something they don't want Yoshiko to hear? And the last girl we haven't talked to is her. Yoshiko! Why did you leave me back there? Huh? I was so scared. Those peacekeepers kept harassing me. They're the worst. <laughs> what's up with this pose? Um, you're... Oh, don't say that, Yuma. I watched from above the whole time. Uh... I saw Cotton die. Oh. oh. I'm going to have nightmares about this. Sorry, gal pal. I... I'm so Sure, just remind me, because I got a lot going on, and I might forget we had this conversation. <laughs> hey, if you were watching from above, does that mean you were with Kurene on the lights? I was. Why are you asking me this now? Then tell me, did Kurene do anything strange during the performance? Did she carry anything suspicious or do anything out of the ordinary? No, she was the same old unfriendly Kurene. She came to the catwalk before the performance and was there the whole time until the incident occurred. So she had ample time to prep. Because, dude, you know what I'm thinking, right? It could have been, like, one of those blow dart devices. Okay, not a blow dart, because then you'd inhale the poison. But they have a little bit of the poison. No, the timeline. No, that, that still adds up. But they could have shot the poison into one of the glasses from all the way up there. With a blow dart device, I'm just... It's an idea. What can I if say? If she did anything out of the ordinary, I would have immediately noticed. Lighting requires perfect teamwork. True, and you can only... You have... <laughs> you don't have to... No, you cannot blow a blow dart without holding on to it. So I don't think it's that. Let's okay. be honest, it feels really suffocating to be around her. Oh, I wish you were on the lights instead, Yoshiko. I am sure you do. Anyway, why do you ask? I... Oh, uh... No reason. So, Karine was just her usual self, huh? Yep. I never let you. Jesus, that's quite the testimony. <laughs> I... Remember the duel of poisoned cups part? Where they shuffled the cups? Could you see that part from above? Hmm? Yes, of course. Although the audience couldn't, I could see their hands moving oh. from above. That's perfect. Tell me more. As part of the lighting crew, that was my most important scene, so it would have been a problem if I couldn't. Yeah, yes, of course. You're so capable, lighting staff. We're proud of you, but tell me. Most important? Yoshiko! You complimented me during the meeting about this, remember? Oh my gosh, what is this girl's problem? It's the scene where we shine the spotlight on the glasses after shuffling. <laughs> oh, right. <laughs> that, uh... <laughs> How is it supposed to go again? It's the presentation where we use two spotlights. Kurine puts a spotlight on one of the glasses first, then I immediately put another spotlight down. Why are they telling us this? I don't know. Were you not watching? Uh, I mean, of course, I was. Uh, I was! <laughs> I just remembered. You did an excellent job with the lights. I'm so excited. I doubt I'll sleep at all tonight. Oh my gosh, she's coming on strong. May we finally have that sleepover? There's something I need to do right now. Maybe another time. Dang, rejection. This girl's needy. Must have terrible pair. Okay, oh, that got updated. Oh, 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 I didn't know it could do that. You've been very helpful, but geez, you gotta, I don't know. <laughs> That's a uh, anyway. Exit stage left. Is that what they say? Where is where is she? Where is she? Uh, oh, I found her. Can we have some time alone for a bit? No, I am aggro today. Get back here. Oh, you meant like leave? Um, yeah, yeah. Go ahead. About what happened? How could you show your face here after murdering Cotton? Oh dang! Oh dang! Oh, is that just like? Is she put on an act, though? I don't know. Huh? You're not supposed to be here. Listen, the peacekeepers are everywhere. So you were in on it? So stay away from me, got it? Murderers should just... Wait, who are you calling a murderer? Enough! I have nothing to say to you. Shut up and get out of here! 
Holy crud. That was intense. Yeah. I heard they were on bad terms, but maybe she's more on edge because of what happened? Yeah, she doesn't want to be next. On top of that, Warana thinks Yoshiko is the killer. Maybe there's a reason why she thinks that. I mean, if all the other girls are like, hey, hey, Playa, good job. <laughs> like, I don't know, maybe she did it. I, oh my, this is bananas. It's so, it's just so wrong. I feel bad I'm having fun with this, but it's just, am I, am I, a go am I addicted to gossip? I don't, I don't think so, but, oh, there's something important in here. Oh. Even if I figure anything out, I'm not telling you. Okay, that's funny. Oh, dump. Done? No way! It was a, okay, it wasn't a blow dart. But it's a Nerf Blaster 4K. We're featuring 15 different darts of all various sizes that jam the gun. Whoa! It's just a water gun. There's a hole on top for adding water. Or other various liquids? Like... I don't know. A vile liquid to conduct some murdering? Or urine? I don't I don't know. That's the prop we used in our previous performance. You did a wonderful job. Oh, stop. Thanks. Anyway. <laughs> didn't even say anything out loud. They're just looking at it. All right. Kurene may have been an accomplice. And that maybe Warrena could have also been an Aw, oh, we killing half the, the freshman class? No, come on. We can't do that. Oh, what should I do? I'm gonna get yelled at. I don't know. Get any cotton? Put it in your ears. What are they gonna do then? What's wrong? Oh, Yoshiko, I'm so glad you're here. Is there a problem? Yes. Well, we're missing a prop glass. You don't say. A glass? You mean for the stage? Yes, you're the one who prepared it for our play today. Oh, um, did I do that? Huh? Did you forget? Well, I'm just so stressed lately, you know how it is. We originally planned to use wine glasses, but their thin stems break so easily. Really? So last time you bought four others, including the backups. Oh. Dang, okay. Then maybe... Maybe it's not totally malicious that she does have the glass with her. Dang it, video game. Dang it, I knew you wouldn't make it that easy. Uh, oh, right. The two backups were on the prop shelf, but there's only one of them now. Right. Oh, where could it have gone? Gee, I wonder. I... Okay, there is uh, multiple speaking glasses. Speaking of, I want to ask if you're the one who set the glasses up on the stage. Yes, I was. Did you notice anything strange with the glasses at the time? No, they were spotless. We can't let anything happen to the glasses our actors use. I see. Thanks. <laughs> Sorry, just tapped a little too fast there. Oh my god. Oh, okay, I I don't I don't want to pause and just like start thinking about it because we you know we're on a time limit. Like Karumi's getting cuffed as we speak, but I'm starting to see. No, I'm not actually. It's just a conspiracy. But why would they single out Karin like that? That's nuts. And um, you were in charge of. Why would you agree to it? Because then you're just the next target, right? The costumes. You're acting like this is the first time we've met. Oh, sorry, are we friends. I. Do you not remember me? Oh. Well, people call me the ghost member all the time. I'm here every day, but no one notices me. Well, at least I'm not as bad as Kurene. It's okay. Ghosts are cool. Think about Jojo. Well, some ghosts are really cool. I, uh... But she stands out a lot when she's on stage. Could it be she acts a certain way so she doesn't stand out on purpose? What do you think, Yoshiko? Uh, uh I'm not so sure. <sighs> She's quiet. Maybe she's not on good terms with Yoshiko. Right. We have to remember who. That should be enough. Oh, that's it. Gotcha. But it does seem like, you know, you know, like someone up in the lights, Kurene, used the water gun when the lights were totally out, turns light off, gets water gun out of back pocket, 
and just fires the poison. Is it not just that simple? I... I don't know. I think that's about all the information I can gather while disguised as Yoshiko. People treat Yoshiko exactly like it was reputed. Everyone around her seems to trust her. Mm, some people do not necessarily revere her. That being said, Waruna and Kurane seem to think Yoshiko is the culprit. Do they think she poisoned a rival to eliminate the competition? But I don't see her as someone who could kill. There was no info tying her to the murder either. Dude, it... I don't know. I... Does it have to be Kurine then? I think I need to disguise myself as another club member and gather more information. Yeah, let's, let's start with Kurine. You're not addicted to drag, are you? Whoa, whoa, whoa! I you're about to win any races. The, I mean, the comment section thinks he's adorable, so... <laughs> I mean, I, I gotta be a master detective. I can't have too many hobbies. Uh, let's just move on. Uh, um, teacher? My bladder. It's, it's finna burst, yo. Oh, what's wrong? You look pale. I'm sorry, but my student <laughs> appears to be feeling rather anxious. How's the investigation going? Who do you want to disguise as next? It's going pretty good, but yeah, we gotta change it up. Oh man, should we go in order? I, yeah, let's just do that. I want to disguise as Waruna. Waruna, the other lead actress on stage. No, I kind of dig chicks who seem hard to get. Alrighty, time to turn you into just the kind of girl I like. That's disgusting, Desuhiko. You gotta admit. So creepy. Yeah, Birds that's I. Feather flop together. I'm out. Like that's just effed up. You're gonna be the undesirable one who who doesn't show me any affection. Like, bro, maybe you're the problem. I don't know. But I'm just a wee bit suspicious of her the All most. Right, that's perfect. In fact, I totally uh, bang you right now. If you're okay with that. No! Oh my god, they put that in a video game? Hey, hold on. That's completely out of line. You cannot. That is. We are co workers, sir. I'm a superstar detective. Social norms don't apply to me. I refuse to hold myself back. You belong behind bars. I, Yako, arrest this man. Uh, no, you can save the fun for later. Go investigate. He just said, he just, he. We are two dudes. Did you forget that? Supposed to be I feared by the other members. I hope I can still get some information from Listen, them. Listen, y'all, is but I better make sure I don't run into the real Waruna. Right. Well, I mean, she's long gone, right? Uh, Yoshiko was in the rest area. Waruna. The yeah, yeah, we'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. Come on, brother, we got this. But man, this is a pretty cool chapter. I know I mean, I've said that a lot, but my mind is just like trying to like just piece it together. But currently, yeah, Kurine with the poison up on the roof, or not the roof, but in the lights, has control over the lights. Oh, but you want to be able to aim it, bro. That's but this is what I'm saying, right? There's so many elements to this case, so many suspects. Well, it's just three. It's, it's not that big a number, but. My point being, this case is far too big for two videos. Who would have thought? So next time on Master Detective Raincode Archive Raincode, Raincode, we are, I assume, gathering more clues and then entering the Mystery Labyrinth, and I cannot wait. So I hope to see you then. Bye.